<clears throat> Good evening, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live. And uh, listen, uh, one thing real quick, like you let you guys know, some of these live ones I've been doing with my phone for some reason are not posting on our YouTube channel. I don't know, really know why the answer that, to that would be, but it's just not happening. And uh, But I did want to let you guys know, I did get the video up on Patreon, Supernatural Beyond What, what We Think. Uh, I think you will uh, really appreciate this video here. Just some personal testimony along some things that uh, Mike spoke about on uh, COT on the channel that he does there. Uh, it really caught my attention and some, some things that I was aware of. So I decided I'd share some of that testimony with you uh, along with what he said on that broadcast. Now, there's also a lot of things that he said on that particular broadcast that I do want to speak about. So it's going to take me a little bit of time to get that information put together because uh, I want to address certain issues one thing at a time because of what he's alluding to. And it's things we've shared with you already, but I want to go back and remind you what we shared with you and along with what Mike is saying so you can kind of paint the picture, get a better idea of what's going on. Uh, just quickly, though, one thing I wanted to bring up, and I, and I am going to be doing a meeting tomorrow to find out more about the situation in Ukraine, what's happening in Europe. Uh, hopefully, to be able to bring some updates for you on that there. But this was very disturbing. 11 Russian POWs were brutally executed by Ukraine's military, and they filmed it. Uh, so I want to play this clip for you right here. So you can hear as this uh, lady here talks about it. She uh, and I do. I don't think there's anything graphic in here, but just to be aware, could be. Uh, but let me play this clip for you here so you can see what's going on. Eleven Russian prisoner of war soldiers were brutally executed by Ukrainian military from the Kiev regime. They filmed it themselves. Now this is a war crime. This violates the Geneva Convention. These men were unarmed, laying on their bellies. Right, now if you'll notice, she does not show the execution. I appreciate that there. Uh, there were 11, of course, later. Ukraine claims that, oh, one of them uh, was going to shoot us or something like that, some nonsense like that. The United Nations is looking into this event here. They were all shot in the back of the head. And uh, at least allegedly, this is what we're seeing in there. And I don't know if there's any other footage on that there. I don't see it as far as in, in this lady's video here. But um, but what an atrocity. And by the way, it's definitely not the first time we've seen the atrocities that have been committed by Ukraine. Uh, and of course, Ukraine is also alleged to that Russia has done similar types of things. We know that we had the video we shared with you a little while back where... Uh, Ukrainian, uh, uh, the, the Azov battalion was castrating uh, that of Russian soldiers that it captured. And uh, so it's, it's very brutal what is happening in this war and, uh, and troubling at the same time. I'll be updating you more though here uh, tomorrow evening. I just wanted to share a little bit of that with you there. And, uh, and, and like I said, quite a bit of information here. So over the next several days, in fact, I'll be trying to update you on things that I think that are very pertinent, very important. Uh, and, and there is some things that I put on our Patreon that's very important as well. But that information I will put out here on Israeli News Live as well. I'll be talking a little bit more about the magnetosphere and what's happening there. But I'm actually waiting for Harold, uh, the German scientist that first shared that information with me to get an update from him on it. Uh, and then I'll get that updated with you as well. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Blessings to you all.